OK, we're going to look at using stacking in Affinity Photo for some quite powerful noise reduction. So just to give you an idea of what type of imagery this would benefit, I'm going to open up a few of the images here. Let's open up about six of them. And if we have a closer look, we'll notice some quite hideous noise both chrominance and luminance noise. Basically, as a result of this being a low light scene, it was shot at an ISO of 3200, which for this camera is kind of pushing its capabilities a little bit. And trying to do typical noise reduction on this image would result in smoothing out and eliminating a lot of the fine detail. So, to give you an idea of where this is headed, I'll look at the adjacent images and you'll notice they're all basically the same composition with minor differences between each frame. So, this set of images were required handheld using the burst shooting mode on the camera. Now, you don't actually have to use a burst shooting mode. Some cameras might not even have one. If you're shooting handheld, it just helps to get shots as consistent as possible for the alignment process. OK, so I'm going to close these images down and we're going to put them into a stack. So the easiest way to do this is to go to File, New Stack, choose Add, and we'll just select them all here click open and we want to automatically align them, that's fine. Click OK. OK, so we have our stack here, we can just expand that and see all the individual images as layers here. So let's have a more detailed look at our image. And as we can see, the noise is greatly reduced. Let's remind ourselves of what each individual image looks like. Uh, we can isolate layers by Alt or Option clicking them. So we'll just click this one here. There we go. So that is the noise profile of just one of the images. And we can click anywhere else, such as here, to see our stacked result again. So, as we can see, greatly reduced noise. So, this stack is made up of images that were each shot at ISO 3200. But let's see how far we can take this. So, I'm going to close this one down. And let's have a look at a typical castle image here. And this looks even worse. We've started to get these horrible blotchy areas appearing as well. So then, let's do the same procedure. We'll go to File, New Stack, choose to Add, and we'll select all 25 images. Click OK. OK, and here is our stacked image. So then, if we have a closer look, we'll notice that we've managed to significantly reduce all that blotchy noise. There is still a bit of noise there. This isn't a complete solution for removing noise entirely. But because we've stacked or averaged all these images together, it gives us a better signal-to-noise ratio, and it gives us a much cleaner image that we can then work with and do more tonal adjustments and manipulations with. So the reason this works, if we just isolate one of these layers again, is because what stacking essentially does is it averages content from all of the images in the stack. So basically, content or pixels that differ from image to image are removed, whereas static content, like the actual subject of the image in this case, stays still between each image, so that isn't removed. 
again, we can click off in order to see our final result. And because noise is random from frame to frame, that's all been reduced. Don't forget, you can also experiment with using mean instead of median. You'll find you get some slightly different results. Again, it's a case of experiment and see which eventual noise result you prefer. So as I just said, one of the benefits of this is having a cleaner image as your starting point. So for example, you might choose to flatten this stack. OK, so once we've flattened the image, we've then got that starting point to go in and do further tweaks to the image. So for example, I might use the shadows and highlights filter to boost the shadow detail. And if we have a look at the noise now, yes, the noise is still there, but it's a heck of a lot more refined than what we had with just one image. In fact, if we note the value here and click apply, I'll just go in and open up one of those single images and we'll try and do the same procedure to this one. So we had a 14% boost. Let's click apply. Okay, so then this is our stacked averaged result and there's our single exposure. So as you can see, relative to the result we would get from one image, we've actually gone quite a long way to reducing this noise. OK, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other videos, including the other stacking videos, to get some more ideas about how to use this feature. Thank you for watching.